Right, so I have bought a Hick Micro Thunder. Um, this is a factory refurb one. Um, and frankly, I can't believe the, uh, the price that um, they are offering on these um, factory refurbs. This cost about 650, I think it was with the postage. And it is an incredible unit. I've just been trying it outside, admittedly, in the daytime. Um, but it's a bright sunny day, which doesn't help with thermals normally. It's quite hot. But the imaging is absolutely superb. Blisteringly good on it. Um, it's a 35mm one. Um, what a lovely little unit. Light as anything. And I think it's about half a kilo in weight. All in with the, with the rail. Um, so I was surprised because when it comes, it comes with the eyepiece is actually separate. Um, and what you get is in the box, if I can just undo it, just bear with me a moment. A little bit disorganised here because it's just arrived. But you get the, the bayonet fitting thing to use as a front um, attachment for your scope. You don't get the collar, but you do get the bayonet fitting that screws on. So what you do is that when you get the actual thing in the box, it comes with that screwed on the back. So you just unscrew that and then screw on the separate eyepiece that comes in this little box here. Um, and then you also get this little rail that comes with it as well, which is a proper chunky item. Um, and the whole thing is just extraordinarily well made. I'm so impressed with the image through this thing. I'd say it's as good as um, the Falcon Spotters. Um, it looks fantastic. So I'm just going to put this rail on it. And then I'm going to use this on my Pro X. Um, this is going to be a Pro X setup. Um, I've got an Alpex um, 4K on my uh, my Hunting 5 Auto, um, but it's with the uh, extra large and uh, really nice Trident um, Illuminator I've got on top of it, the IR. It's actually quite a heavy setup that is. Um, which is okay for shooting off a bipod, okay for shooting off sticks, but it's quite heavy. Um, I'm hoping that this little tiny thing, which probably weighs, well, definitely weighs easily half what the Alpex 4K and the uh, the IR Illuminator on top, this, this is easily half the weight, if not, I'd say a third of the weight of that uh, combined setup. Um, so I'm going to put this on my Pro X and try and um, build up a more lightweight uh, thermal um, wander round gun if you like right so I've got it mounted on my uh, Steyr Pro X as you can see really compact sits really nice on the rifle very very compact on the back there adds like I say about half a pound to the weight uh, half a kilo pardon me I think it is to the weight so I'll run through some specs on this thing so it is a 384 by 288 um, pixel, 17 micron, and it's a sub 35 millikelvin um, sensor, so it's pretty damn good. Uh, 2.1 base mag, and it's got eight times digital on that as well, so that'll take it up to what, two times eight point something one, whatever. Uh, apparently, detection range of 1,235 meters. Um, whether that's real or not, I don't know. All I can say is that it is absolutely lovely to use. It's taken me um, about 10 shots to zero it. They're not as easy to zero thermals as, well, I don't find them as easy to zero as um, the standard um, digital day-night vision stuff. Um, what I do is zero them at quite close range, zero them at about 20 yards. 
I just basically fire a pellet into the target and uh, if you look through the thermal you can actually see where the pellet uh, impacts on a piece of cardboard it shows up as a little black dot or a little or a white dot depending what uh, what you're using with the heat difference because obviously when the pellet hits it it generates heat and then I aim at that spot take my shots and then zero accordingly so it took, took about 10 shots to get it zeroed in um, possibly less than that actually I, I did a few just to check it um, and uh, yeah well impressed that is easy 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 to do um, no uh, qualms no worries really intuitive into the menu and then a quick tap for OK. And then always remember, don't forget, because one of the main things is people say, oh, I zeroed it, got out in the field, and then it wasn't holding zero. Well, the reason is they forgot to save the parameters. So always remember, when you finish zeroing it in, save the parameters. Otherwise, it will not hold it zero. Um, but yeah, easy, absolute cinch to use. Um, very, very simple. Um, very intuitive and what a lovely little thing look at that on there that looks great on there isn't it? i am impressed with that lovely little thing so i can't wait to get out of this um thermal and give it a whiz see how it performs um so there it is the little thunder